Just as a petition to legalize marijuana was approved by the Secretary of State, state lawmakers have now proposed a bill. Yesterday, KX News broke down House Bill 1420, and tonight, Renee Cooper shares how it compares to the initiated measure currently in need of 27,000 signatures. This in tonight's top story. People are really done with the policing of this plant, the wasting of tax dollars, and they want the right to grow their own. Jody Vetter, chairperson for the North Dakota Freedom of Cannabis Act, might be right. KX News took two social media polls. A small Facebook poll found 84.6% support legalizing recreational marijuana. And on Instagram, 78% are in support. That really just confirms the lies that we have been told for the last 80 years about this plan. That's why the North Dakota Cannabis Caucus is working on gathering signatures on this initiated measure for the second time. If a little over 3% of the population signs in the next year, it lands on the 2022 June ballot. We just really want to end the prohibition of the plant cannabis. If passed, North Dakotans over the age of 21 would be allowed to grow and possess marijuana for personal use. These measures have been a consistent theme for a few years now. That's why Bismarck Representative Jason Doctor says the state wanted to prepare. People have personal choice. I personally don't smoke it. I don't, I don't agree with it, but I also know our job as lawmakers is to make good policy, and I think we need to, to head off an initiated measure and get something on the books before um, it comes to the voters and we get something that would not be a good uh, fit for the state of North Dakota. The biggest differences between House Bill 1420 and the measure is the bill keeps a criminal penalty for possession of more than an ounce of marijuana or any cannabis bought outside a state approved dispensary. I basically say less than one ounce is no harm, no fall. Anything uh, above that is the same regulations that currently that we have. And the measure allows for the personal growth of 12 cannabis plants. To keep prices, you know, reasonable and fight off the black market, which is what really we all want to avoid. And it's not necessarily one or the other. This bill could pass and the measure next June. If House Bill 1420 would pass and the initiated measures continues on and they pass, anything that is not passed in code would supersede. Meaning everything in the bill stands with the addition of the growing allowance from the measure. Vetter says she can't support the House bill because of the criminal penalties it enforces for simple possession. Otherwise, she says it's some progress. <laughs> Reporting for KX News in the capital city, Renee Cooper. House Bill 1420 was just introduced in the House yesterday. It now heads to committee. Vetter is confident North Dakotans are ready for legalization. In continuing